You've got to say yes to your life. You've got to say yes. Yes to my dreams. Yes to me. Yes, I can make it. Yes, I can. Doesn't matter how many failures I've made. Doesn't matter how many mistakes I've endured. Doesn't matter about my defeats. Doesn't matter about what I've done. Yes. So you've got to learn to stand up to yourself inside yourself and short circuit, override that conversation that's always going on. 85% of what that conversation will tell you is negative. It's negative. It will tell you you're tired when you really are not tired. It will tell you you can't do it. It will fill you with fear. So you've got to watch that conversation. And when you find it going on, you've got to stand up to it and say, I'm going to do this anyhow. I'm afraid, but I'm afraid not to do it. And I'm not going to let you stop. Me. Many people go through life never getting in touch with their greatness because of the lack of motivation to push themselves or because they have not found something that they believe to be worthwhile to challenge them. What contribution are you giving? What are you giving? Many people will leave the universe without a trace. No one will know they were here. A lot of people never take a chance in life. They don't want to take any chances. They want the situation to be ideal. See, that's not walking by faith. That's walking by sight. If I can see it, I'll do it. No, 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 no. A lot of people say, if I can see it, I'll believe it. No, 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 no. If you believe it, you can see it. When you want something out of life, you've got to be willing to go into action. Don't wait around for things to be just right. Don't wait for things to be perfect. Don't wait for the ideal situation. It will never be ideal. Do what you can, where you are with what you have. And once you begin to determine that which you want, take the time to write it down. Don't just think about it, write it down. That is a subjective process that engages the subconscious mind. Write it down. Once you write it down, read it three times a day, morning, noon, and night. Why is that important? Because what it will do, it will cause you to focus. As you begin to read that every day, every day, day in and day out, that will make you focus. That will discipline your thinking. As you continue to work on yourself, you will begin to expand your vision of yourself. You begin to work towards self-mastery. And you will begin to see it reflect itself in all the dimensions of your life. Your mental life, your physical life, your social life, in your relationships, your monetary life. So concentrate on developing yourself. Because if you don't, I guarantee you that you will make a settlement. And most people have. And most of us already have. What kind of settlement have you made with your life? Most people will give up. But you've got to decide that I'm going to be fearless. I refuse to be denied. And I'm going to go all out. I'm going to be relentless. I don't care how many no's I encounter. You can put effort on you. And by concentrating on you and developing you, you can transform your life wherever you are right now. But you've got to ask yourself, what do I want out of life? What do you want? What gives you your life? What, how will you know when you got it? What will make you happy? You need to know. You need to start asking yourself some questions. What do I really, really, truly want? You need to be exact about that. Don't be vague. Oh, I just want to be happy. That's too vague. And as you begin to discover the truth of who you are, whatever challenge that you're facing in life, 
And if you're living, you're facing some challenge, you'll begin to know that you're powerful and that you're America maker.